Take heed, dear friends, to the promptings of love and truth in your hearts. Trust them as the leadings of God, whose light shows us our darkness and brings us to new light. The, the difficult questions, what are the Quakers? So they, call, they are called a religious society. Some people would even object to the title of religious because we do have Quakers who do not believe in God. What I say? Mixed bunch, mainly pacifist, mainly vegetarian, know how to listen, Generally a nice, nice bunch. Not all, but most, 75-80% uh, uh, call themselves Christian and believe in a God, and about 20% 20, 20 or so don't. Uh, even amongst the believers, there's, the, 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 there's still uh, a great discussion as to uh, the G word. God isn't very often mentioned. Jesus isn't very often. Occasionally a saint is mentioned. Occasionally, scriptures are just as likely to be moly from Wind in the Willows. And it has been, and pff, why not? They can teach us something. Take time to learn about other people's experiences of the light. Remember the importance of the Bible, the writing of friends, and all writings which reveal the ways of God. Well, the only thing I know about the light is that it's <clears throat> another word for spirit, I think it's another word for soul, I'm not sure. But I have the expression in my head, it keeps coming, lead kindly light, it's from a hymn. But it's a nice, the light, lead, it's a nice light, lead us. And if we, they talk about love leading you and light leading you. So I see it as if you get an urge to do something that's really very strong, Challenge it quietly, but probably do it. We meet in silence to be um, able to listen to the, or to find the spirit. And some sp call the spirit God, some would call the spirit maybe something from nature. Worship is our response to an awareness of God. We can worship alone, but when we join with others in expectant waiting, we may discover a deeper sense of God's presence. Do not assume that vocal ministry is never to be your part. Faithfulness and sincerity in speaking, even very briefly, may open the way to fuller ministry from others. It's, it's a very strange experience standing up. It's, I've only ever done it twice in five years. The first time I was so horrified by something political that was going on, and I did get up and speak then. And the second time was more recently when my best friend died and I, I announced her death at the meeting and I just felt myself rising. I had no intention of standing, but I just literally felt myself rising up and, and I didn't know what words were going to come to me, but I knew I had to speak. It, it was a very special feeling. I used to come and cry and cry and cry. I used to stand up and cry and mumble something. Don't do that anymore. It was deeply emotional for me to come here. I'm a spiritual person and I didn't want to be without a home, a spiritual home. I visited the Quakers and I felt at home at the Quakers. So I stayed and that is uh, 15 years ago. I felt drawn here. I've always been aware that Quakers were very peaceful people and uh, part of their history at least was, was rooted within the peace testimony. I like the community, I feel safe here, um, yeah I feel, I feel, sounds a bit silly, but I feel loved here, yeah I think I can say that, and respected, I think that's more important in a way, I feel respected here, yeah. Do you cherish your friendships so that they grow in depth and understanding and mutual respect? In close relationships, we may risk pain as well as finding joy. When experiencing great happiness or great hurt, we may be more open to the working of the spirit.